Hello and welcome to the interview series with our teachers here at the Community College of Baltimore County. Uh, this is being held in conjunction with the exhibition we have of the artwork of our teachers here at the galleries at CCB. Uh, this is Inside Art and Design. Uh, and today we have uh, Eric Miller with us and he's um, going to tell us a little bit about his artwork and himself and how he got here. So. Eric, what got you into artwork? Like what led you to deciding to devote yourself to art and design? Well, I know we don't have longer than an hour, so I can't, <laughs> I can't spend too much time on this. Um, so I, I really got into to art and design in through um, comics, through, you know, sort of what we would kind of call sequential narrative now, whether it be comics from newspaper comics. And again, for those of you who don't know, they actually used to print color comics in a new, no, I, I think they still do that, but uh, comics in the newspaper, specifically the Sunday comics, because it would be like a whole reading experience. Uh, my parents would be reading the newspaper and they would hand me this beautiful sort of wonderfully colored, you know, three, four piece of paper page, you know, thing that, that I could read of my own. Um, so comic strips and then comic books, I really got into comic books um, and animation, watching a lot of cartoons, those kinds of things. Um, I quickly fell in love with a lot of classic monster movies too. So a lot of old school Wolfman, uh, Frankenstein, you know, the old Lon Chaney uh, Wolfman movies or the Boris Karloff Frankenstein films. And I love the makeup and sort of the whole environment of seeing Dr. Frankenstein's lab and all those kinds of things. So um, I was visually captured, you know, in captured, that's not the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sort of enraptured. That's the word I'm looking for. Visually enraptured in terms of uh, uh, watching the, the sort of development of those visuals. So it, it was really interesting to me. And then I realized, hey, you know, I could take a piece of paper and a pencil and a notebook and just start sketching all this stuff, you know, and and it went from there. I started drawing cartoon characters and comic characters and all those kinds of things. And um, I think my parents still have my old like Garfield notebook where I drew comic characters and stuff in there. So yeah. That is <laughs> yeah. wonderful. It's so sweet. Yeah, I think they still have that. So um, yeah, lots of comics. And, and again, I love reading. So comics or any kind of visual narrative, uh, picture books as a kid, I still love picture books. I'm the guy who you see in the kids section of the library in the picture book section, uh, looking at the Caldecott award winners, you know, because I'm so interested in, in children's book illustration. So yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. What, um, what led you to decide to teach? Ooh, good question. Um, so I spent some time out in industry after, so I got out of grad school and I, you know, most of the time you come out of grad school with a, an MFA and you think, Hey, I'm going to teach, you know, those kinds of things. Um, I got a half-time teaching position at a, a, the Greenville County Fine Arts Center, which is a, a, an arts high school for gifted and talented children in, in Greenville County, South Carolina, I did an after school program for elementary and middle school kids. So it was really cool. They had the portfolio in and all that kind of stuff. Um, but teaching jobs, as you probably know, and, and most people watching this know, are really kind of challenging to get. So it was only half time. Um, so I thought I'd try my hand at doing commercial illustration. So I did that for a little while. Um, got, got lucky enough. This was still in the days where, unfortunately, they don't do this as much anymore, but it was still in the days where you could show potential through, say, a portfolio that may or may not be directly related, and then you could learn a lot on the job. Um, so I, I was very fortunate. A, a company took a chance on me. I got a job. Um, and I, I worked in private industry for a little while, um, went back into teaching at a place called Bradley Academy for the Visual Arts, which eventually became the York Art Institute, which I think our very own Kim Morrison taught at for a while as well. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we found that out after Kim was hired. Um, and then um, from that standpoint, I went back into industry for a while, but I just missed teaching too much. Um, I really like the exchange with students. I really like the exchange of creativity. Uh, I think that 
teaching is one of the last places where people can really kind of play with information and critical thinking to try and get people to see things in a different way. And I really love especially at CCBC, because we teach a population of, of people from the ages of 15, 16, all the way up to advanced ages of, of grandparents who may have already had their kids go through school and they're coming back because they're interested in learning art. And to put that kind of energy and wisdom in a classroom together is absolutely amazing. So I just absolutely love that. And I learn as much from my students, hopefully, as they learn from me, um, because it's just, it's wonderful experience. So yeah, I, I got into teaching just to give back. It's fun. It's a fun thing. Yeah. Um, if you had, how would you describe your artwork to someone who has never seen it before and like you don't have it like sitting with you even? Yeah. Um, good question. So I kind of run two different, I guess for lack of a better term, styles or two different kinds of approaches to art. One is kind of more that, as I referenced before, that, that comic character or character monster driven kind of style, which is this kind of weird, uh, I guess, kind of cute, gross kind of thing. It's that, that, that middle ground between a monster, but kind of like monsters incorporated monsters that are kind of like, they could be scary under the right circumstances, but they have googly eyes or goofy smiles or those kinds of things. Um, that's sort of my, my more character driven sort of fun side of things. And then there's the, the sort of more personal side of things that I do again, I guess I could call that maybe my more illustrative side. And then there's the more sort of studio fine art side. That's a lot more about pencil drawing and specifically exploring sort of, uh, for lack of a better a term again, body horror, the idea of getting older and surfaces of your body and, uh, you know, organs and, and things, but in an abstract way, uh, in, in an abstract way. I'm not, I'm referencing surfaces and textures and those kinds of things, but um, I'm kind of mishmashing stuff together from imagination and visuals. Uh, as I get older, it, you know, my body sort of isn't doing things the same way as it used to do things anymore. And, and we all experience aging, but I kind of find it fascinating. I don't think it's kind of weird. I just think it's, it's fascinating. We have this machine inside of us that is doing all this stuff and it lasts for as long as it lasts. Again, if we're, we're fortunate enough to have that time. Um, but my artwork is really kind of like, a, I, I guess, a map of openings and, and skin wraps and twists and folds of flesh and those kinds of things, but not those things. They look like they reference those things, but not in bone, and, but not those things. So it's kind of an abstract thing. And I, and I kind of explore uh, from surface texture a lot. I start out by sort of creating a field of surface marks and then sort of pushing and pulling from there. So uh, I guess the best way I could say is, is if you look at something uh, in the clouds and you see something in it, that's kind of how my artwork functions, but from the standpoint of a human body. So kind of that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Eric, and thank you all for joining to watch this interview. Uh, I hope you can watch more of our wonderful teachers here at uh, the gallery, uh, the community college of CCBC and the art design department. And uh, hopefully you can come see the exhibition here at the galleries at CCBC. Thanks again. Thanks, Sam. Bye.